Hi, I'm Rachel Michiko Whitney with ID8 TV here with Hayden Sito. So, Hayden, are you um, presenting tonight? I am. I'm presenting Chloe Bennett. Oh, very exciting. Yeah. Do, do you know her from before? Yeah, or I actually just recently met her. Like, we were all at her place. Uh, we had like a Asian American gathering. Uh, at her for, for actors or for all that for a lot of actors influencers even politicians um, so it was a pretty fun event so it's a it's a really great privilege for me to return that honor and present her with her award it's amazing so how did you first hear of East West players or how did you first get involved um, I had a friend that was involved with uh, the play Chinglish uh, Ewen e Ewen Chung okay. Ewen Chung he was one of the uh, the actors in it and um, that's my the first play that I've ever watched at uh, East West. Yeah, yeah. So did you grow up um, studying Asian American plays at all, or did you always know that you wanted to be an actor growing up? Or Totally. Uh, always wanted to be an actor. Um, first Asian American play I think I studied was M. Butterfly, David Henry Huang. Um, that was the first one that you know brought to my attention that there was like Asian American genre, you know, uh, and the playwright that, you know, specifically writes on the the Asian American experience, and I thought that was very fascinating. Yeah. And do you enjoy doing theater as well as film and television, or do you have a preference? I mean, I'm doing a lot of film and television now, but I would love to be on stage one day. I mean, that's, I mean, there's nothing more validating than being on stage for an actor because we're just so self-involved. <laughs> we just love the immediate validation and being able to act in order. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's just, it's cool. It's cool. So I saw you in the Edge of Seventeen. You were amazing. Oh, you were great. Very fun to watch. Much. Thank you. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about that experience and how was working with Haley Steinfeld. Oh, my lord, I haven't talked about this in a while. Um, I think a fly just flew into my mouth. <laughs> very, that was very graceful. Yeah, yeah. Handled um, it very gracefully. Haley Steinfeld, despicable human being. I can't stand her. No, she's great. She's great. Um, I learned a lot from her. Uh, especially from a, a prodigy like that, like it just being able to watch how she just lets herself go and, you know, at a drop of a hat. You know, she can be tweeting while the shot's being set up and can just, just drop her phone and immediately just drop into character and I have to stay in character constantly. So just being able to see somebody do it so differently, um, it was a great learning experience for me. Yeah. And so, um what projects are you working on currently, or what projects do you hope to work on in the future? Well, uh, I just finished working on the show The Good Place with uh, Manny, Manny Jaquinto. Um, that was a lot of fun. Uh, we just wrapped, I just wrapped a couple of days ago. So, yeah, I mean, there are a couple of projects on the horizon that I can't talk about yet. Um, but I just would like to continue making films that, you know, break barriers for Asian Americans without talking about I'm breaking a barrier for Asian Americans. Hopefully we can normalize it, you know, with more roles like The Edge of Seventeen, you know, where Irwin's character, you know, his Korean heritage was not, you know, the butt of any joke. It was not, you know, he could have been anybody. It was the, Just another person. And that's, that's what we try to show in diversity in film, right? That's the whole point of it, where our skin color doesn't matter. Um, and just hopefully I can keep doing roles like that. It was a big privilege, yeah. And it's awesome because now you have kids growing up that can look up to you and hopefully aspire to be where you are someday. Oh, no, totally. I, <laughs> I was at the Arclight watching a movie not too long ago, and these three um, Asian-American kids, like, really geeky looking, um, were waiting outside the bathroom for me. Um, they were like, were you Erin Quin Erin Kim from um, uh, Edge of 17? I'm like, yeah. They are like, dude, you know, that, that part, like, it really gave me hope. I'm like, it just shows you how, at the same time, how powerful film is. And at the same time, how far behind we are as a community. Where, like, he's like, just because you played a role that's a normal person, it gave me, gave me hope. Well, congratulations, and thank you so much. Thank I'm you. Rachel Michiko Whitney with ID8 TV.